Creating and managing playlists in Rekordbox 7 has changed, and not necessarily for the better. If you're coming from version 6, there's some big changes to the workflow you need to know about before you upgrade, and some workarounds that can make things easier and faster. Rekordbox 7 introduced a bunch of UI changes, and one of the biggest was changing the left-hand tree view. In version 6, you could access all parts of your library from this one menu. This meant it was possible to have an overview of your collection, your playlists, and even things like streaming services. In Rekordbox seven, the library's now been split into individual sections, and these sections are accessed with tiny, hard-to-see icons. The playlist section can now be found under the second icon, which looks like some bullet points, if bullet points were specks of dust. As in version 6, you can create two types of playlist here. Right-click on the word playlists, or use the small plus icon. The first is a standard playlist, which is just a list of tracks you manually add. And the second option is an intelligent playlist. This is a playlist based on rules that you set, and the playlist will populate with any tracks that match those rules. If you're new to intelligent playlists, I've done a full video on that, which I'll link to in the description. If you want, you can still create folders that you can use to organize your playlists. You do this by right-clicking and creating a new folder. Not too bad so far, but unfortunately, this is where the good news ends. As before, you can drag or drop files straight from your file manager on your Mac or PC into individual playlists. But this is a very inefficient way of doing things. In version 6, once tracks were in your collection, you could drag them to individual playlists. But with version 7, dragging and dropping is no longer possible. When I did my overview of Rekordbox 7, I had loads of comments about this. And in my opinion, it's one of the biggest downgrades in this version. Due to the way the left-hand menu has been split out, you can no longer have a view of your collection and your playlists open at the same time. So how do we actually get tracks into the playlists? The first and slowest method is by going to your collection, right-clicking on a track, then browsing the menu to select the playlist of your choice. But there is, thankfully, a better way. Version 6 had something called the sub-browser. It's like a secondary view of your Rekordbox library. It allowed you to browse two parts of your library at once. But it was actually a bit of a hidden feature. I covered it in one of my other videos, but you actually had to activate with a keyboard shortcut that wasn't enabled by default. In version 7, the sub-browser is a much more integral part of the Rekordbox experience, and Pioneer wants you to use it for playlists. In version 6, there was only one layout option for the sub-browser, the side panel. Rekordbox 7 now gives you two different views. The horizontal view is accessed with the icon above the left-hand browser, and the previous vertical side panel view is accessed on the right-hand side. Let's say I have this track in my collection that I want to add to a playlist I've created. I'm going to open the vertical sub-browser, but you can use either. In the sub-browser, I navigate to the playlist section. From here, I can either drag the track into the playlist name, or navigate to the playlist itself and drag it in there. But if you're like me, you do a lot of track prep on your laptop. That means dealing with a pretty small screen, so having two browse windows open at once is not ideal. I recommend enabling the browse view when prepping your tracks to give you as much space as possible. You can do this with the icon at the top by the drop down, or a faster way is to just press spacebar. Playlist palettes were a useful way of browsing multiple playlists at the same time from within your main browse view. You open them with this button and can drag playlists in to see the tracks inside. This made it easy to create playlists on the fly or quickly dipping in and out of other playlists while keeping within your main flow. In version 7, they're still there and work in the same way. Playlist palettes also give us the best workaround I've found to make adding tracks to playlists easier. Now, when I'm pulling together a few new playlists, I create the playlist as normal. I open the playlist palette, drag my new playlist in, and go back to the collection. Now rather than having to use the sub-browser, I can now drag the tracks straight into the palettes. You'll also notice this other icon next to the playlist palette one. In theory, it's for removing a playlist from the palette or sorting the tracks within it. Just be aware the sorting only works on the playlist palettes view, not the playlist itself. Editing Chris here. Now after I recorded this video, I got thinking, were there actually any positives to the changes Pioneer made? And I did find one. I was a bit concerned the first time I used Rekordbox 7 to play that the left-hand panel would make it really hard to find tracks. But actually, being able to only see playlists and nothing else on the left-hand side was pretty cool. It meant there were fewer things distracting me that I didn't actually need while I was playing. Okay, I said that one positive thing so it didn't look like I was biased. People usually do mostly positive and then one negative at the end. You sort of did the opposite. Did we hear back from them about that sponsorship? Mike? The new playlist experience is going to take some getting used to, but it's just one of many new things introduced in Rekordbox 7. Check out this video next where I walk you through everything that's been added.